Hello and welcome to uh, Strawberry Shortcake Going to Big City Episodes Review. Today we'll be taking a look at the first episode of the series, Part 1 and Part 2, Going to Big City. Let's review. As you all know, Strawberry Shortcake is apparently moving out from her house and into... She got her, uh, suitcase, and then, uh, oh yeah, she means we have an Aunt Praline. And then they give hugs, and then she calls her the super, super cool aunt. When I told her I wanted to move to the big city, she uh, said I could stay with her, and she'd help get everything I need to succeed. <laughs> She's the very best! As you know, Aunt Praline and Strawberry Shortcake on the car. And her cousin's just sleeping there, and then she sees the top three best bakers in town, which now should be the next thing in baking. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Crab apple jam! Kiki key line! I'll kill you for full fine man, no way! The biggest things in baking all got their start right here! Sure did, and the next big name is... Strawberry Shortcake! Also, another piece of advice. The uh, song that you just heard was actually the No Ordinary Berry song. It was taken af right after this, which is probably the Nexus episode, but uh, I just wanted to show you that. I'm pretty explained everything about you need to know about the Big Apple City and all that. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Every single day, fresh-faced berries arrive in the city. Everyone wants to be the next big thing in baking. You want to be the best? You gotta be smarter, faster, focused. Keep your eye on the prize. <laughs> right. Focused. <laughs> then they move to that house, which is the orange building or whatever. It's, it's quite tall. And uh, the other one looks like a milk cotton or something. But uh, she, she also, the Aunt Praline, explains the bear works. Fortunately for you, your in the know aunt knows the inside scoop. For example, not every berry knows the first stop in the city has to be the berry works. The what? The Berry Works. Obviously, it's the hottest spot in the city. It has shops, restaurants, and it's where bakers go to get discovered. It's also where my niece is going to get her. Oh yeah, and also, uh, Aunt Praline is going to tell is telling her that she's going to get her own food truck tomorrow morning. So, yep. It's also where my niece is going to get her start in her very own food truck. And Praline, that sounds fantastic. And I'm sure that once I get settled, I'll be ready tomorrow. To Excuse me, tomorrow? Tomorrow. But, 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 but I just got here. I've barely seen the city. I definitely don't have a food truck. Oh, trust me, you gotta just dive in. And you just let me worry about the truck. Now get some rest. Tomorrow's a big day. Love you so much. Yep, trying to get sleep. It's the next day, and, uh, that face is probably not good enough for her. So, we'll see how the food truck is. What? ta -da! My old truck, the Praline Dream! Ultimately, food trucks were not my jam, okay? But now you can take the truck and make your dreams come true! Woo! Alright, hop in! Well, Strawberry Shortcake wasn't excited about this, and uh, one of the pieces just fell, which is probably like the opening of the door, caught the van door, and uh, of course, well, she's taking her somewhere. Let's see what it is. Oh, okay, yeah, 
Maybe it's a bit of a fixer-upper, but hey, it has character. Wow. Good luck. You're leaving? Mayor Molasses is announcing a new Sparkberry factory, and he can't even find the stage without me. But you've got this. I'm already proud. You text me later, okay? Bye. Okay, Custard. We've got this. She's going somewhere that is really important right now, with her freaking scooter, of course, and her home to protect herself. And uh, she's on her own right now. And, uh, she's got things to take care of. Okay, Custard, we've got this. Well, unfortunately, the handle of the fan, whatever, got, got like, um, it got cut, cut off. It came off, and there's flat tires on the freaking car. So, let's see what, let's see what part two has to offer us. It really was nice of Aunt Praline to give me her old food truck to get started in Big Apple City. It's just that the truck needed a little more work than she realized. Okay, Custard, we can make this work. We just need to... Oh, and that drops! And strawberry shortcake checks on the... on a food truck. And then Burn Pudding arrived. Yep, he, he's pretty much a new character in the series. And there's probably some cockroach crawling, like, like, um, on, on the right side. So, uh, Brett Pony tells Star Wars okay, that, uh, her old food truck needs to get off the property and she doesn't belong here anymore. Which is sad, because he's the manager of this whole place. Get this thing off Fairy Works property before somebody thinks we're the city's new garbage dump. Oh, well, actually, this is my food truck. Break. I mean, sure, it needs a bit of work, but I'm just gonna. Let me stop you. Brooke Pudding explains the strawberry shortcake about the whole entire Fairy Works, and uh, that's pretty much it. This is the Fairy Works. It's trendy, it's chic. And it's my job to keep it that way. That pile of junk doesn't belong here, and neither do you. This might be the worst day ever. I was trying my shortcake is sitting down. She's disappointed that she has to leave. Like, the belly works and all that. Her friends actually meet her. First off. It's Lemon Meringue. And then there's Orange Blossom. Then there's Lunch of Fun with her green glasses, apparently. Then there's Blue Ray Muffin, which she first off smells her. Which is a little weird, but they all have their food trucks. I'll show ya. I run the Citrus Slice Smoothie Most energy fueled smoothies in town. Blueberry Muffin runs the Dreamery Creamery Ice Cream Cart. This month's featured flavor is Raindrop Raisin Drizzle. It tastes like the forest smells right after a thunderstorm. But with raisins. That is definitely unique, yes. And Lemon Lime and I work at the Lemon Lime Time Cart. If you ever need any food, huh? <laughs> Uh, and she's crying with tears of joy, which she's probably happy about. They're all so nice of her, especially after her with Sumi this morning, though. Then, she proponents the guard to dub his trunk. Then they help her, like, fix this ridiculous truck into her, into her strawberry okay, food truck. Her own. This might be the best day ever. Pfft. 
flower. Yeah, she got it. The machine is almost complete. It's through these tubes, as you probably see. Her own food truck. Here, but I'm pretty sure this is exactly where I belong. Mm, nice color, cute name, fun garden. I suppose this will do. But she got her eyes on you, which means she's watching whatever she's doing wrong. And then he actually poked his eyes out, like his his, his tears, or accidentally poke himself in the eyes. Oh, yeah. But I've got my eyes on you. <laughs> <laughs> and that was the first episode, part one and part two. And then the Honey Hands being friends. Coming up next week is Lemon's Explosive Oven. And coming in two more weeks, it's uh, Legend of the Spoon. New reviews every Sunday. So thanks for watching. As always, like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time for another review.